You're listening to a portion of our conversation from episode 250, featuring the Jurassic Wire with myself, Brad Jost, and co-host Aaron Beyer. If you want to hear the full conversation, download the full episode on Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, Google Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever else you listen to podcasts. Today, we discuss Islands of Adventure's Jurassic Park section and the semi-recently announced coaster entitled Jurassic World Velocicoaster. It's something that they've been building in the land for a while now, and we finally have some more details. We discuss the ride, the theme of the land, and more in today's segment. As always, be sure to let us know what you think, and of course, we hope you enjoy it. So why don't we go ahead and kick it off with our first topic here, which is uh, I want to kind of talk about Islands of Adventure, some of the updates that have been happening there, as well as right. the fact that uh, Universal kind of spoiled the uh, the announcement for Velocicoaster. So, Did we already know this name? We we have known about Velocicoaster, yes. It was... Um, I forget exactly how. I think it was like a, a trademark or something like that. Somebody filed something uh, on Universal's end that said, right. hey, okay. yep. it's going to be Velocicoaster, so keep your eyes peeled. Um, so it was one of those things where we weren't exactly sure if it was going to be Velocicoaster, but it sounded right. It sounded like it would work. You're talking about Velociraptors, but also speed and velocity and stuff like that for a coaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everything works there. So... Over on, um, let me bring this up for you guys so you can actually see it here. But um, over on Universal's website, they actually um, spoiled it a little bit ahead of time. Now we're not gonna we're not gonna be able to read it from the website right away. So I actually brought up a friend's uh, Twitter who actually posted it right away. Uh, Alicia Stella, hey, what's up, Alicia? How's it going? Um, Alicia captured it at least, or somebody captured it and she reposted it, but. Um, Right here, uh, I'm going to skip through the middle of this. I don't know if you can actually see it on the screen. Uh, oh, there we go. So, all right. So I'm going to move this up just so everybody can see it. But it says you're going to live the adventure of coming face to face with giant creatures of Earth's past, encounter raptors roaming every day. That's all stuff that we've already seen. Or take a daring uh, raft expedi expedition through jungles teeming with dinosaurs. For those brave enough to visit the raptor paddock, you may be able to carefully approach one of these deadly predators, then feel the rush of the hunt as you race through the jungle alongside raptors on the Jurassic World Velocicoaster, a new species of roller coaster coming summer 2021. So that's, uh, that's pretty crossed. interesting. <laughs> yeah, Maybe. fingers crossed. See, this is one of those things like uh, and let me uh, let me just show actually I'll just show this real quick before we start diving into the conversation, but this is the website here. Uh this is Universal's uh universalorlando.com and their Jurassic Park section of the website. So you can see the Jurassic Park logo and the beginning of what I read actually is right here on the website. So it does say like step in the Jurassic Park and stand in awe and wonder at the land transformed by science after 65 million years. Blah 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 blah. All that uh, all sorry, that stuff that I Jurassic just read. Jurassic Park or Jurassic World? <laughs> well, I mean, it's both. It's uh, it's Jurassic oh. Park. It's Jurassic Park, but it's a Jurassic World attraction. So pretty much just like what we have. I know we've all kind of like been like, "What is that? That doesn't that doesn't make any sense." But they've been doing it for years. Um, you but, know, like, specifically with with the Raptor Encounter. You know, the Raptor Encounter has been obviously a Jurassic World attraction. Um, inside of Jurassic Park. So they've already started to make no sense on, on that level. Um, <laughs> but, uh, there, yeah, so it, it was uh, hyped up to be, as the website originally says, before they edited it, um, you know, uh, where did it go? Feel the rush of the hunt as you race through the jungle alongside raptors on the Jurassic World Velocicoaster. Now that's the title, Jurassic World Velocicoaster. Velocicoaster. Uh, and then coaster, all one word, coaster is capital, like the C is capitalized. Um, sure. So, so coming summer 2021. Now, you, we were joking. Maybe. We'll see. Because, that yeah, that's just the way the world works right now, right? It's it's all kind of like a projected date, but who really knows? And things could change along the way, you know? So you have a, right. a, a movie that's supposed to be coming out 
June 2021. That's oh. summer, right? So yeah. you have a new coaster, um, anything else? I don't know. Probably some other stuff at that point. Um, so it's kind of it's going to be one of this thing. It's going to be this thing that they're going to want to tie in to the movie's release. Um, originally, there was like the projected end date on a lot of the construction work and stuff around like April, like the end of April, I believe. So, mm-hmm. you know, s- dates for the theme parks are kind of loose in general. Summer can literally be like the last day of su- like summer. Yeah. You know, like they they can, you know, say something's coming in in fall and then it'll be like whatever, like literally the last possible day is in like December. And you're like, is it really fall still? Um, well, there's also like safety precautions too. Like mm-hmm. I know when I was going to school there, they were building the one at Universal that plays like the music or whatever in your ears. Does that make sense? The uh, what? In, it's at Universal Studios. And it like goes through buildings, and it like oh, okay. blasts right. music yeah, yeah, yeah. in your ears. Okay, yeah, Rockin'? Yeah. No, uh, that's the yeah. Disney one. <laughs> Rip Ride Rocket. Know. Rip Ride Rocket. Yeah, yeah. So um, it has like speakers on the seats and stuff like that. And yeah, you can pick a song. Yeah, they had that one going, and like I remember that one getting. I'm pretty sure that one got delayed. Um, I don't remember. But, I think it did. Yeah, you know, coasters just themselves are. I don't know. They're they're tricky, right? Cause like they make sense on, they make sense like maybe in like computer animation and, and, and CG models when they like, you know, uh, previs that stuff or whatever. But then, mm-hmm. you know, you get the thing in real life and there's, there's going to be bound to be problems. Um, well, specifically so- like the Hagrid coaster that just opened up, you know, just, uh, last year. Um, yeah, that thing, that, that was kind of that example of, Hey, we probably opened this up a little too early. It didn't work out the kinks, and then we had to do half days on the attraction, open it up at noon or close it at three or, so, you know, like some weird, really, really weird odd schedule um, because, because don't it wasn't you want right. to be the guy that rides it when it's like close half the day for problems? <laughs> like, it doesn't yeah. make any sense. Yeah. Just wait till it's good. It's like, yeah, they had to work on it, but they're like, well, our best option option to work on it is like in the afternoon, I guess. Um, and then yeah. there was a whole t- a whole period of time where that ride was down because of bees. So you have that. You never know what you're going to run into. There were bees on the track, like just swarming, and they, they had to try to keep <laughs> rid of them. And this coaster specifically is so tall that it now has to deal with like osprey on the top of the coaster that w- that keep hatching nests. Now, that certainly probably won't be a thing once the coaster is operating. But maybe I don't know. Maybe they're gonna do it overnight. I don't know. Maybe they'll keep building nests overnight. They oh Universal gosh, is dude, kind of that's... like they've tarped over it several times over, and the birds just keep coming in and, and laying their nests. So it's so Life tall. Will find a way, Brad, yeah, you seriously, know? it's so tall Life that they just that's the best spot for them. Um, so they're already experiencing that, um, you know, that weirdness in terms of like, well, how do we get this thing to work? Um, it shouldn't be as technical of a marvel as, say, Hagrid was. You know, there's a lot of intricate moving mm-hmm. parts on Hagrid. It's a, it's a, it's it's not just a coaster. It's part dark ride. It's part drop. It's part all this weird stuff. Um, so, yeah. yeah, there's a lot involved. This is just a, a fast coaster. So you should hopefully be able to get it right. Um, it's just standard dress where they invest as little money and interest as possible and <laughs> yeah. slap the logo. They slap the logo <laughs> on the lunchbox, right? That you know, the- uh, that is the thing. Like it on the surface, this looks actually really good. It looks like they're investing a lot in it, but when you actually dive into it, you're like, Oh, it's not as much as I, as I, as it looks like it is, you know, as I thought it was because you know, they're, yeah. they've got mountainscapes and we'll, we'll take a look at that. Actually. Why don't we, um, I mean, Go I just ahead. Googled it here real quick. I mean, yeah, I mean, it looks it looks like a coaster. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, it's hard for me to say because I feel like Islands of Adventure already has its coaster. Universal gets a bad rap, right? Because it's like, sure. Hey, you, you keep doing these movie rides like these these like rides in front of 3D screens and everyone kind of complain is like, that's all your rides are. And now I'm like looking at it. I'm like, well, now Islands of Adventure is just becoming like a coaster park like. Yeah, it was one thing to have a coaster and I don't I don't know, man. I I keep complaining about this view or whatever, like as you walk <laughs> in and see the park. But yeah, like, yeah, I don't like it's just a land like do I is it? It's just like a <laughs> it's a condensed. I, 
the problem is when you walk into hogwarts man it feels like hogwarts and to mm-hmm. me like now this isn't and jurassic actually felt like jurassic um you know i can imagine going to jurassic park and not seeing dinosaurs until like i'm on the tour or i'm like out on one of the, the rides or something you know yeah. and that's what the jurassic park land felt like it felt mm-hmm. like the boring part of going to jurassic park um <laughs> But and I mean, I don't know if a coaster is like canonical with like the book or the movie is like, hey, we're going to have a coaster. I know it's in the video game and it's cool in the video game. It makes for like a really cool set piece. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's definitely not going to like be like swirling around the visitor center. And this just drives me absolutely nuts. I don't know why I let it bother me so much. Yeah. Yeah. It, we're in this weird thing timeline where like the parks want to do things that are connected to the films and it wants you to feel like you're in the film literally right like not not just viewing the film but like actually in that world but but then you have to separate yourself especially in jurassic because you're in jurassic park and you're going on a jurassic world ride and you're like well none of these things actually were here i can't imagine this especially coming straight over the bridge from harry potter where your whole mind was like i'm living this i am yeah, I am in Hogsmeade. I am in Diagon Alley. I am literally standing in front of the castle. All that good stuff. You're you're literally feeling yeah. it. Here you're just like this this is a Jurassic Park, I guess. Like this is not it's not the one. It, it is a Jurassic, I guess. It's it's Orlando or whatever yeah. it is. You know, like it's fine. Um but yeah, this is just a whole different experience having Jurassic World and not really feeling cohesive um but i yeah i don't know i'm still i'm still like you i'm i'm i don't like the fact that this view is tarnished and we've talked about that a lot um and i know a lot of people are like well you know what um uh you know some people are bringing up the fact that uh the coaster in uh japan uh the flying dinosaur is a great the flying coaster. dinosaur yeah, yeah but i but i i was you know i was saying that like hey i have that coaster in my backyard like literally it, it, 30 yeah, minutes it was, down okay, the road. it was you and me talking about this like okay the first time the first time i ever rode a coaster like that it was called i think x flight there's one in ohio i think at six flags and then okay sea world in orlando has manta manta right? yeah or something yeah and it's just a generic coaster like even hulk at Universal Islands, Islands of Adventure tells kind of the story, but it's more like that story is like really like metaphor. It's like you're like <laughs> you're sitting in the in the drum. It, it's supposed to be like you're sitting in the drum and then when they shoot you off, that's like your gamma blast like radiation, right? Like that's what it's supposed to feel like. Yeah. But it's also like it's also old school comic book Marvel. Like I kind of expect that to have like coasters yeah. because it's is kitsch the right word? I don't I don't know if kitsch is the right word. Like yeah, it's, it works. It's fun. It's, it's, it's comics. It's coasters. Yeah. Like Jurassic has like a style. And I think uh-huh. one, they got to choose. It's either got to be Jurassic park or it's got to be Jurassic world at this point, because I'm OCD and hate the mess that it is. I'm fine with either <laughs> one. I would prefer yeah. Jurassic park, but like uh-huh. <laughs> I'm fine, whatever, you know, just, but like they need to hit home like Orlando. And so yeah. the fence, the fence needs to be, Jurassic Park Orlando or Jurassic World Orlando and they need mm-hmm. to like differentiate it you are not on Isla Nublar you know yeah um that would be like, nice I'd, that'd be awesome you know um yeah, yeah. they got to do something like that the branding is a disaster yeah and especially now because you have the visitor center or discovery center is right there right and this new coaster now surrounding the the limits of the fence of the uh, attraction is Jurassic world, like Indominus Rex style fence, you know, like that big, tall cement mm-hmm. fence structure. So it's, you're talking about this giant Jurassic world fence structure, which is very different than Jurassic park fences. Um, right. And then right across from that is like a Jurassic park pizza place or Hammond's hot shots or what, you know, like, I don't know. Very strange. I don't know, but you know, I know I, I kind of compared. I kind of compared like that weird view because the view out in Japan is 
I think it's hideous. I think I don't think that's a good look at all. When because you overlook that water and it's just a very sterile environment, all concrete, and then like a metal, uh, you know, a steel coaster right there. Um, right. And then the same thing, similar thing might happen here. It's still to be foreseen because they're not finished yet. I do expect a lot of trees and stuff planted. Hopefully, they go back to those really really tall palm trees or whatever yeah. they are. Um, but uh, yeah, it definitely is a new look, a different look, and. This coaster, though, will be leaps and bounds better than what, you know, that flying coaster is out in Japan uh, or at Six Flags Great Adventure or SeaWorld I mean, or wherever. Really? Oh, yeah. This is going to be a top tier roller coaster. This is going to be extremely fast, extremely high. Um, and it's going to like if you look at the curves and the turns of this coaster, it is unlike anything else. It is pretty uh, like I just imagine the G force on this thing is going to be insane. It's it's going to be nuts. If you look at some of the ways that this thing turns and banks, yeah. it it's out of control. And unlike I and I'm a, I'm a pretty big coaster enthusiast. I've got a you know a spreadsheet of all the coasters I've been on around the the country and stuff. And this thing I think could be one of the best coasters that I've ridden. Um, Hagrid is one of the best, if if not the best coaster I've ever been on. Uh, so right. this, this could be up there. It's going to be a lot different of, ex- of an experience, um, more so focused on the speed. That's why you're not going to be getting uh, animatronics and, and stuff like that, you know, scattered throughout the attraction. Um, but, uh, but yeah, let me, let me, um, showcase some pictures here while we're talking, but, um, we I have, I really can't even like say like. I've written a lot of coasters. Like I'm, I'm from Michigan, so we go to Cedar point a lot. Um, during the summers, um, when it, you know, not this summer, uh, but, uh, <laughs> like they're constantly innovating on their coasters. They're constantly closing down coasters that I, I think are still like worthy of, of having around. Like they closed mantis yeah. within like the last, like, I want to say within the last like six or seven years, they closed mantis. And like, I remember when mantis opened, so it wasn't that old of a coaster. Um, there's definitely cool coaster ideas out there now. Like I know they have one maverick or something or bronco mm-hmm. where you're like it, it the idea is like you're riding like a bull or something and like so it's designed to like kind of like it's designed not to be a smooth ride and it, it's designed to kind of like throw you around and then i rode some coaster in california i want to say maybe it no it wasn't a six flags oh i don't know anymore maybe, maybe i rode not, it out here not spare um, farms or something yeah like maybe not spare farm um but like it was designed to like be like you're on a it was like, yeah, it was like you're riding a horse or like you're a cowboy. So like there's oh, really cool stuff. Yeah. There's cool stuff out there. I just don't see what this one has to offer. That's like just this, is, you know, I, I don't know. Like, did, am I like making this one doesn't seem like it's going to offer anything different. It, it will. Or, I think it will. Or niche. I, I think it definitely will, especially the the top hat section, which I have here on the page. Um, mm-hmm. Now, right now, they're actually testing they're kind of doing a test push through of the coaster cars just to make yep. sure that the clearance is fine so they have these big wire frames around everything um and you can see there is the engine stamp around the the yep. uh, wrappings on the coaster so you actually can't see the coaster itself kind of looks like a shoe and like something else behind it um yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but yeah they're testing the uh you know they're just testing to make sure the clearance is okay, you know, for all those people with their arms up and, and all over the place, make sure nothing's getting taken off um, despite running through a, a ride with Raptors. But um, yeah, so I love the fact that the the, the wrapping is is even themed here with InGen on the side. That's amazing. Um, yeah. But but um, yeah, this is a very tall coaster. Let me see what else, what else we have here picture-wise. Um, all right, so we have a picture here of... Uh, a coaster in some baggies uh, and it's kind of, you know, clear. So you can kind of see the seatings and there is, uh, if you look up at the top, there's like um, lights on the top, like next to your heads, there's going to be lights uh, around your heads. Uh, so they'll be projecting lamps uh, outwards for some reason. Um, there was some concept I mean, art at one will point. They? they should. Yeah, they should. Um, the concept Why? art, at least. I don't know. Uh, I'm not really too sure, but uh, they might. So I don't know I mean, if there's something during the day. It's weird because Universal is rarely open past like 7 p.m. That's the only reason yeah. like, I'm like, well, wait, why? Like, 
Yeah. Again, I, when I was living there, it was like if you were at Universal after dark, it was like a weird, rare experience. Well, you know, this one they they have been expanding their hours, and and of course, recently it's been a lot more taken back, especially due to low attendance and stuff like that. So yeah. nowadays, who really knows? But at one point before all this, they did expand their operating hours to like 9 p.m. and stuff like that. So okay. yeah, I don't know, but I'm not really sure. These might be lit during the day too, or even for like um, a kind of covered sequence that there, you might be going through some some tunneling through rocks and stuff like that. So it might be good to have uh, these projectors on there to kind of maybe light up where you're going inside of a tunnel system. Yeah. Uh, I don't really know, but um, do you think this thing will have? have audio? Uh, yes, I would expect there to be audio. Um, I think, and we'll see it in a second here, you, but, right? but, but um, yeah, in a second, you'll, we'll, we'll take a look at some Raptors that are scattered around, but uh, here, just uh, a nice little look at some of the uh, rock work and stuff. They're they're kind of building the scaffolding and trying to uh, finish up the rock work and all that. And it just like these bank turns are incredible. Um, but I want to get to the Raptors. Did you get a chance to see the Raptors coming in? I saw the Raptors. Yeah, like they were bringing them in. I assumed that yeah. they were going to be like the opening, like when you're getting when you're first getting in the queue, you would walk past this like really beautiful statue of the Raptors, but. It doesn't no. look like that's what this is. No, not at all. These are actually in the attraction. Um, so they're, yeah, they're literally scattered. There's going to be, I think, hopefully four, which would make sense. Um, right. I think so far we've maybe only seen three. I don't remember if the fourth one was brought in or not. But, um, but yeah, there should, I, I believe, be four Raptors scattered around in different parts and locations. But these are just yeah. static figures they're you know i don't know but maybe the pedestal will move but i don't think so you're going to be going very fast so literally there's no need for any kind of right movement. you know at at um at the uh disney's animal kingdom there there is an attraction a coaster as well uh called expedition everest if you guys are not familiar yep. and inside that attraction is a giant uh yeti animatronic now Back when this thing opened up, the Yeti would move like a lot. It would be pretty yeah. drastic. And then one day it stopped working. <laughs> so it hasn't worked since. So what they do is they just put a strobe behind it and flash this strobe and it kind of makes it look like it's moving. So I expect something like that here. Maybe not a strobe, but just with the fact that you're going so fast, you're just going to be zipping by this thing and you're probably going to get that audio cue that that's like you know like as you're yeah, going yeah, by yeah, yeah. To, and it'll help there, it'll help that, simulate what would that sound like again Meow! you know okay, there it is cool. that was All pretty right, I just accurate to check to make sure that did you <laughs> did you apply for that job Are you no actually that audio? i just hit a button Meow! and it oh, just yeah oh, it was okay. a button yeah that was i, right. I they sent it to me universal sent cool. it to me by the official sound then mm -hmm. the official one i can't yeah can't wait yeah, <laughs> it's gonna wait. be scary dude it's gonna be I real like scary that, i feel like the, i feel like that's the investment <laughs> they would put into that probably um but uh you know these these raptors came wrapped uh in and they they you know crane craned them in there so uh yep. looking good and then i have another picture here of um <clears throat> Actually, two pictures of some raptors just scattered about. So we can see, you know, there's track kind of banking around a curve. Uh, and then there's two raptors actually right there. So I can't really tell who's who. They're still wrapped up right now. Uh, it's still just a very ugly mess that you can barely tell what's going on um, just because yeah. of all the scaffolding and, and things are not complete just yet. But um and and plus, this is not really the view you're supposed to be getting is from some dude up in a helicopter, you know, just taking some no, spy no. pictures. So when you're on the ground and stuff, a lot of this will be invisible to the eye. Um, but uh, yeah, you get some, you get two Raptors here. And this, I don't know, maybe this is right out of uh, a launch because there's going to be several launches in this attraction. So, um, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, it's 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 pretty darn cool. I'm I'm excited to to see what they're doing, but. Um, I guess we got that confirmation that this is the Velocicoaster. So that's, um, I guess that's kind of exciting. I mean, you know, that's a great to, to name, have a name. So I don't get, you know, I don't, when, when it got announced or when we, when someone found the trademark, I was like, oh, of course, like that's, mm -hmm. that's a great name for a Jurassic yeah. themed, <laughs> um, you know, a Jurassic themed attraction. Yeah. 
I don't. It's just so ugly. Why is it so <laughs> ugly, Brad? Like, well, it's just literally it's just, black track. It's, gray. it's, it's yeah. no, it's just, it's just like drab. Um, you know, and it, it's such a vivid land with green, lush trees and greenery and everything, and then there's black track just kind of zooming around and specifically going right next to harry potter you know hogsmeade area so who knows what that's going to do for sound um but yeah I don't you know. gotta it's wonder just, it's like, strange. so colin trevorrow comes in right and he's got this pitch hey i want to change dress i want to change your franchise name to to jurassic world and everyone's like oh, okay yeah cool okay well now i want to change your your main colors oh okay cool <laughs> to what well i want to do like blue okay like yeah, blue makes sense. It, it, the logo was blue in the book. Like, you know, why not? But, like, did no one think beyond, like, that one pitch as to, like, what the colors were going to end up doing? Like, it just seemed <laughs> no. boring. <now>. Like, <laughs> well, that's the thing. It's like, yeah, it's initial setup and concept, I think, and especially in the first movie, is the fact that people are bored, right? Like, that is the yeah. setup of that movie. And I think that goes along with it is it's not as inspired in a way. I don't know if that was originally the, the pitch or the concept, but that's just that's the way it I feels, feel like getting, you know? I feel like everything we get is just kind of like uninspired. Like, oh, well, what color should the track be on this? Gray. People love gray. <laughs> We got to well, make that's, it gray. Uh, yeah, giant concrete fences, not like cool, like, you know, laser, not laser, but like uh, electric fences, well, you know, stuff like, like that. Invisible fence structure that like Claire <laughs> talks about, right? Like, no, we got to have oh, this yeah, giant yeah. concrete wall. When in that movie, when they're like, <laughs> oh, the Indominus attraction, it's, it's supposed to be like, it's like, it's supposed to be open. Like it's like late or something. Mm -hmm. And like that thing looks bare bones. And it's like, oh, yeah. wait, this is what you're going to show the public are these nasty concrete walls <laughs> like it is i, I think i imagine there must have the been right a word. separate one you know i feel like was that the 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 pen for for visitor i don't know i don't think so yeah. my 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 standpoint has kind of been like there's probably another paddock you know where they would maybe oh, track it so, and put it over into the other paddock um, i don't think so especially you know and honestly like I, paddock you know, nine is the same thing man paddock nine is just this nasty like, no that's a beautiful concrete. paddock inside well yeah inside but like <laughs> attractions like theme parks should be beautiful everywhere sure you know sure. that you, the average person is going to see mm -hmm. i don't know dude like oh it's... <laughs> i don't I know felt, i mean I've, i it... i felt like when i saw jurassic world i was like oh yeah this is an unfinished set like it, it, it felt like, and mm -hmm. then I've been to Hawaii and like, when you go there, it's like, yeah, it's literally just fake concrete in the jungle. And I was like, yeah, they could, I don't know how they could have done it, but there's no sidewalk by the Indominus Rex paddock. Like where are people walking? <laughs> this thing's supposed to be like up and running, like really quick. There's no sidewalks. I think there's no, I think cause they weren't intended vendors. to go there. I think that's why I, nobody was intended I to go there in my eyes. <laughs> I think so. I think so. Uh, but uh, yeah.